Hello and welcome to the Analog Devices Precision Digital Isolation Technology Training Videos on the Fundamentals of Isolated Gate Drivers. This video is the second in the series and will focus on how to choose an isolated gate driver. We look at the importance of isolation and why we need isolated gate drivers. And we will discuss gate driver specifications and important parameters that differentiate performance based on the end application. Compared to the drive strength of general purpose input output pins of a microcontroller, gate drivers also have much higher source and sync currents to operate larger loads that power switches provide. As a result, lower rise and fall times are achieved during turn-on and turn-off transitions of the gate of a power MOSFET, RIGBT. Since the switching times are reduced with faster slew rates, the switching power loss in a power device is also reduced. Gate drivers operate in industrial and automotive environments where there are large power levels involved. Because of this, isolation is required to provide safety barriers. In various circuit topologies, functional isolation may also be required. Gate drivers can also incorporate protections to make total system design easier. Combining a digital isolator with a gate driver creates a monolithic isolated gate driver. Isolation could be optical, capacitive or inductive. ADI gate drivers have transformer-coupled isolation, which is inductive isolation. The gate driver block would generally have an output MOSFET stage. As mentioned, there are two types of isolation that need to be considered. Firstly, functional isolation may be necessary in topologies where the source of the power switch is not ground referenced. This is the case in a buck converter and other topologies employing a half bridge. Separate grounds are necessary to completely isolate noise and remove ground loops. The other advantage with isolation is improvement in fault tolerance of the system. Then there is safety isolation. This is required primarily to protect people from electric shock. There is low voltage electronics and user operation on one side and higher power levels at the switches. Isolation also helps protect people and equipment from electric shock. Apart from basic insulation, supplementary insulation may be present in a system to protect against faults. There is double insulation which is both basic and supplemental applied together. Reinforced insulation is a single insulation system demonstrated to be equivalent to double insulation. The isolated gate drivers need to pass tests from various agencies to be certified. Now, let's look at an example of how isolation is applied to a design. The block diagram shows where various types of isolation are employed. This half-bridge configuration is common in several power converter applications. The safety isolation barrier keeps the high power side separated from the low voltage controller. The controller side or low voltage side may have sensitive equipment or an operator handling it, so it's imperative to keep them away from the high voltage side. This isolation may have a basic or reinforced rating. For correct operation of the circuit, the high side switch, Q1, should have its gate operating with reference to the source, which is not at ground potential. 
This poses some challenges, and to address this, functional isolation is required. This is true for any Bach-derived topology, and is employed in converter and inverter systems. There are two groups of key gate driver parameters, the required specs and the differentiating specs. Similar to common considerations for most electronic parts, the required specs for isolated gate drivers are a package size and pin out, operating voltage levels, and operating temperature range. Some parameters specific to gate drivers are isolation rating, which states the voltage that can be applied between the input and output side across the isolation barrier during safe operation. A creepage is another parameter, which indicates the distance between the isolated pins of the package and is related to the safety specs. There are some protection features which may also be required in an application. The differentiating specs are linked to the drive strength. Drive strength relates to the value of the peak current that the part may deliver to charge and discharge the MOSFET gate. This is also tied to the internal drain source resistance, or DS on, of the gate driver output FETs. The timing performance specs are related to the propagation delay and associated parameters like skew and pulse width distortion, which affect system design. Noise immunity of the isolated gate driver is the signal strength integrity of the part under various transients and other radiated emissions while in operation. Last of all is the price which is an important consideration, similar to any other part, for finalising its use in a design, though it is not a final decider. Designers consider several factors when choosing which driver to use. The first cut is the required specifications. Required specs either make or break the part for the selection process. Not meeting one of these metrics means the part is not even considered for an application. Candidate parts are then evaluated in the lab on differentiating metrics. Differentiators are where the performance of the various part options are determined under common test conditions. Finally, some consideration has to be made on how drive strength influences price. There is an understanding that higher peak current rating means higher price. This is loosely true, but it is more tied to the RDS on due to die size. Also, the definition of peak current varies between manufacturers. So, be sure to double-check each datasheet's definition. If peak current is a metric used, parts are sometimes unfairly disqualified. Either too low or too high can disqualify parts from consideration. There are other metrics which need to be taken into account, and hence evaluating differentiators in the lab really helps. Analog Devices has many digital isolators that provide trusted safety and data integrity. To learn more, please watch the next in our Precision Digital Isolation video training series on the fundamentals of isolated gate drivers. Click on the link below or visit analog.com slash iCoupler.